Yo, what's up, dudes? I'm here with my good friends, Glenn and Trey. Anyway, we're here with these awesome uh, PRS guitars, and um, <laughs> we, don't uh, whack them together. Yeah, we're trying not to. Ooh, we're trying not to whack and see neck and zies, but because uh, that's that'd be a very expensive whack. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's called the whackening. Yeah, you're and, already uh, paying the. <laughs> Do you have a lot of experience with uh, PRS? Not a, none. Zero. Yeah, this is like the first time I've ever played I, one. Uh, mostly with like the SE ones. Yeah, um, see, same here. Yeah, I've actually got the most recent one, which might be from the same series. Really? You and actually have one? Well, I mean, they sent it to me for a review. Oh, sweet. Okay. And it's sick. Okay. Uh, there, it seems to me like they're trying really hard to make them as similar to like the high-end ones as they can. At a cost um, that's affordable. Yeah. Well, that's which cool. kind of sounds like an like I'm like an ad like I'm working for them or something. But we have it at the house, and me and the intern uh, have been using it a ton. I gotta say the tone, the tone's ridiculous on this. This is great. The action's great. I'll, What's I'll, not to love? I'll be yeah. honest. I didn't even know that was an SC until about ten minutes after we got here. I didn't know this was an SC <laughs> yeah, until like, you said so. Like that looks fucking good. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, this I is agree. the cheap one. I don't know. It might even like I don't know if that's a real flame maple top it could be a picture but who cares like <laughs> it's probably not it's probably a veneer it's I probably think. thin but yeah it's, it's yeah, probably it a thin veneer thin, but it's but, but that's a but nice yeah, slice pure of wood. SSE. yeah what do you know yeah yeah, yeah. it's funny. well okay it's gorgeous yeah, look at, ready look, yeah hold, hold up yours hold up yours okay like from where you're sitting audience can you can you tell the difference like not really this is the real quote unquote real deal um and it's, oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Well, that's got a But this a is like this is probably too. like three or four thousand dollars, and this is like eight hundred. So. Yeah. Right. And, and this has got like a fixed bridge. That's the one thing. So you can't really change the action up, or you can't change your intonation on that either. Right. But you know what? You can probably swap some of them. This one. So, this one. This one, is, one has. This adjustable. one is adjustable, but there's all I've seen. Right. I've seen ones that aren't. Okay. What's um, the, yeah, what's right. the deal with a non-adjustable non bridge? Is that like It's really know, they, the McCarty series and some of the early custom series would have mm -hmm. that. Why why would they do that instead of making adjustable? Really because it's a 25-inch scale neck and if you tune it down, you're fucked anyway. So they're like, you're just going to leave it as is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just made that up. I mean, I didn't make it up, but that's they just assume that you're going to be playing in standard and that you probably won't need to change your uh, adjust your intonation. Oh, okay. Right, right. So yes, for metal guys, you probably want to get the more expensive model. Yeah. You know what I think part of it is? Like, A, PRS seems like they're really super picky, so even if they go to like right. a Korean factory, like I, I think it's probably made of world musical instruments, right. and they're going to be like, they have enough clout as a big company right. to be like, look, you're either going to make it right, or we're not going to do it, or you know, you're not going to get the right. many, many millions of dollars we're going to pump into this. Right. So they're yeah. going to make sure that that shit is you know, is yeah. on point. They can apply pressure. Whereas like a, yeah, apply pressure. Like a smaller company who's, who's getting stuff made, like when the final product shows up at their door, do they have enough power to be like, this is not up to my standard, take it back. Right. Do not, right. I can't sell this. Right. PRS can do that. Like a, a smaller company is like, okay, I guess this is what we got. Right, right. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who buy low-end guitars who don't see value in high-end guitars. They're like, all you're buying is, like, names and badges, and and I'm sure that there's more time and effort that goes into it, but I don't know that the finished product is worth the extra price tag. But, and again, on the flip side of that, there's a lot of people that own expensive guitars that would never own an SE, and they're like, sure. you know what? I, I'm just not going to own something like that. I'd, I'd, I'd prefer to save up and, and get, you know, the more expensive guitar, and these... There's no right or wrong answer on this. It's literally just what's right for uh, you. Yeah, what's right for you, and and people approach it in different ways. Sure. No, I think this is a fine guitar. Like I said, the only thing I'd do is probably change the bridge out. Right to something. That, I so think to the, something more like this that has rolling. Yeah, exactly. Saddles. So so I could adjust, you know, intonation. But I feel mean, like the tone's insane on this. <laughs> Of course, you know we're going through the, the Rev 120 yeah, here. Yeah, which so. is over here. Right. If we can get right. a that helps. shot of that. No? No. Apparently anyway. not. <laughs> that camera there? That camera there? Plus, we have another Rev. Ah, yeah, yeah here, we go. here it is. Here's the 120 right here. Thanks, Derek. Um, yeah. Yes. And yeah, ridiculously good sounding app. Yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. So, what's My your name is Mark. 
<laughs> no, Derek's the guy. Derek's the, the guy amp. who makes the amp. Yes. <laughs> we know your name's Marco. We love you, Marco. Polo. <laughs> uh, let's hear a little love bit you of your. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's hear a little bit of this guitar if we okay. can. It does. Oh, okay. And we've got a little, I think this is a... I, I'm not I would like, hope it would. <laughs> I'm not like super into hollow body guitars in general, right. mostly because I play a lot of. Music. But it's it's a really really nice sound Very that rich. I wouldn't typically use, but it's it's real different and nice. Most of the, mostly it's just that I because I don't have one and I don't play them that often. I don't like think of a use for a hollow body guitar, you right. know. You can just turn it around and show people the back on that. Oh yeah. Yeah, the front. That look ass. At, yo, dude, look at that. That is insane. I'm a big fan of plane. I don't think I have. Yes, yeah, so you have a plane back. Ah, see, this is what you're paying for. Yeah, yeah. You pay yeah. a lot for the part that you don't see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mine's plane too. Yeah, yeah. So we got the plane backs, and you know, that's <laughs> the money. That's the money shot. Look, right I'm, there. A, I'm an ass man. Let's be honest. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Check. Yeah. yeah that's uh. This is oh, this is the kind of thing you'll be on God. stage like. This, you're like <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god, Glenn. Look at that back. <laughs> it is so big. <laughs> so I have Oh my the, god, back age. So we, looks we, like one of those blues guys' girlfriends. <laughs> so we have actually three different models. He's got an SE, mm -hmm. right? He's got a set neck, right? Uh, Semi-hollow. And I have the bolt-on neck solid body. The Michael Bolt-on neck? The Michael Bolt-on. And uh, I gotta say, I was super impressed by this guitar. Um, I love the neck on it. I've, I've played two different PRS. This feels like uh, wide fat. I mean, um, is it wide fat or fat thin? They do a. <laughs> Those are both a, words that describe they do me a, as a they person. They do a fat wide and they do a. Like, yeah, like you're a the fat thin guy. Thin, that's right? it. <laughs> or a thin wide. I don't know. talk about GitCon yesterday, all right, because we had our first full day of GitCon yesterday, mm -hmm. and we have four more to go. And so uh, I don't think any of us really knew what this was going to be about when we when we came here uh, a few days ago. And um, I think after yesterday, I feel a lot better about the whole thing. I thought yesterday oh, yeah. was really freaking awesome. Yes. I had a blast yesterday. I really did. It, yeah. It was a lot of fun. A yeah. lot of work. I was exhausted, but, um, you know, we, we, did, we did really well, I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dudes. Well, there you have it. Three different PRS guitars played by three different people from three different time zones. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will be doing uh, a lot more this week. And uh, thanks so much for us. Uh, thank you to Glenn and to Trey for uh, joining me on this. And uh, tune in. Uh, pretty much stay, uh, stay tubed, as we like to stay, because uh, there'll be a ton of videos coming out from all three of us and uh, about a dozen more. Yeah, exactly. uh, covering all well, where, the stuff. Well, where week. can we find uh, Glenn's videos specifically? Uh, oh, Spectre, Spectre Sound, Spectre Sound Studios. Yeah, that's the channel. Yeah, and I'm Gear Gods, and of course, Pixelix. All right, dudes. There you have it. As always, <laughs> thanks for stopping by, and we're on. <laughs>